The trees in this picture are all evergreen trees. Evergreen trees are similar and different to the deciduous trees you learned about earlier. We use the word evergreen to describe plants that have leaves and stay green year round. Evergreens come in a variety of shapes and sizes, but they all have at least one obvious thing in common. They are always green. Are there any evergreen trees like these near your home? One type of evergreen tree is called a pine tree. Pine trees have a pleasant smell, which many people like to have in their homes during the winter months. The leaves of most evergreen trees are called needles. This picture shows the needles of a pine tree. Evergreen trees, like deciduous trees, make food through photosynthesis, which occurs in these tiny needle leaves. Photosynthesis slows down during the winter in evergreen trees, but it does not stop altogether as it does in deciduous trees. Because the needles of an evergreen tree are much smaller than the leaves of a deciduous tree, it is easier for the evergreen tree to make enough food to keep most of its leaves alive and on the tree all year long. Wherever you find evergreen trees, you are also likely to find these things scattered around on the ground. If you look up while standing under an evergreen tree, you might see some of these growing on the tree's branches. They are called cones. Most evergreen trees are called conifers, which is another word for trees that have needle-like leaves and make cones. The cones in this picture are called pine cones. Unlike deciduous trees, which have flowers and fruit, conifer trees do not have flowers and they do not grow fruit. Instead, conifer trees make cones and seeds grow inside their cones. When a cone opens on the ground, the seed falls out and are spread by the wind. If a seed falls into the soil and has the right amount of food, water, air, and light, it might grow into a seedling and then a sapling. Check out this video I found of a pine cone opening in someone's house. It happens fast. Whoa, did you catch that? Let's do it again in slow motion. Pay close attention to the seeds that fly out when it pops. Now this example, it's happening very fast, but a lot of times pine cones take minutes or even hours to open. And that is how they spread their seeds. The first plants you will notice in this picture are ferns, which are not evergreens or trees. Ferns are short plants that grow in the woods. If you have sharp eyes though, you can see another type of plant in this picture. There is a little pine sapling, a baby tree, pushing its way through the ferns. If the sapling is tough, as many pine trees are, it will continue growing until it stands high above the ferns. It may grow big enough to produce its own pine cones one day. Remember that the seeds to make new pine cone trees are inside the cones. Did you know that a tree adds a new layer of wood each year? This new layer forms what is called a growth ring. When you cut down a tree, you can see the growth rings. You can tell exactly how old a tree is by counting the rings. This tree was a little more than 50 years old, which is actually pretty young for a tree. If it hadn't been cut down, this tree might have lived to have a hundred or more growth rings. Remember, evergreen trees and deciduous trees are the two main types of trees found in the world. Next time you see a tree, try to figure out whether it is an evergreen or a deciduous tree. The leaves may give you your first clue. That's about it for today, so thank you for listening and learning with me, and I'll see you next time. Bye!